The Year of Magical Thinking is a poignant and deeply introspective memoir by Joan Didion, one of America's most revered writers. In this heart-wrenching account, Didion chronicles the year that followed the sudden death of her husband, writer John Gregory Dunn, and the life-threatening illness of their adopted daughter, Quintana Roo. The memoir is a powerful examination of grief, loss, and the human capacity for resilience in the face of unspeakable tragedy. The story begins with a striking and unforgettable scene, Didion and Dunn return home after visiting their daughter Quintana in the hospital, where she is battling a severe case of pneumonia. As they sit down to dinner, Dunn suddenly collapses and dies from a massive heart attack. Didion, shaken and disoriented, is thrust into a world of grief, uncertainty, and isolation. Throughout the memoir, Didion candidly shares her emotional journey as she navigates the unfamiliar landscape of mourning. She reveals her struggle to make sense of her husband's death and her daughter's illness while grappling with the mundane tasks of daily life. Using her extraordinary writing skills, Didion delves into the depths of her sorrow, dissecting her emotions and experiences with surgical precision. The title, The Year of Magical Thinking, refers to the irrational thought processes that often accompany grief. Didion acknowledges her own magical thinking, the belief that if she does everything right, her husband will somehow return to her. This acknowledgement is both heartbreaking and relatable, as it underscores the disorientation and desperation one can feel in the face of overwhelming loss. As the narrative unfolds, Didion reflects on her life with Dunn and their four decades of marriage. She explores their bond, their shared passion for writing, and their roles as parents to Quintana. Through memories, anecdotes, and excerpts from their works, Didion paints a vivid picture of their relationship, further emphasizing the void left by her husband's death. Parallel to her exploration of her marriage, Didion delves into her role as a mother. Quintana's illness serves as a constant reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of familial bonds. As she tends to her daughter, Didion is confronted with the reality of her own mortality and the possibility of losing yet another person she loves. Throughout the memoir, Didion engages with literature, philosophy, and medical texts, seeking answers to her questions about grief, memory, and the human condition. Her prose is both elegant and raw, revealing the profound emotional impact of her losses while also providing readers with an intellectual framework to understand the universality of grief. The Year of Magical Thinking is a masterful and deeply moving exploration of the human experience of loss. Joan Didion's unflinching honesty and exceptional writing make this memoir a must-read for anyone who has experienced grief or wishes to gain insight into the grieving process. The book serves as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the transformative power of love, even in the face of overwhelming tragedy. Though the subject matter is undoubtedly heavy, Didion's writing style is accessible and engaging, making the memoir a compelling read. By sharing her story, Didion offers solace and understanding to those who have experienced loss, and provides a powerful reminder of the shared human experience of grief. The Year of Magical Thinking is a testament to Didion's courage and literary prowess, and will undoubtedly stand as one of the great memoirs of our time. We highly recommend giving it a read, and when you do, be sure to share your thoughts with us in the comments. Happy reading!